Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, we are going to tackle the creation and, more importantly, the upgrading of our legendaries within World of Warcraft Shadowlands. So let's begin. Now, with Shadowlands has come a whole new type of legendary gear. We've seen legendary items in the past. It's been through maybe long quest chains, or maybe the opening of a Paragon box, or the clicking of a Blingatron. Yeah, thanks Legion. But this time, things are a little bit different. Now we have the help of the Rune Carver in Torghast. We're able to craft the legendary that best suits us. No longer will we be waiting desperately for those Fire Mage braces to finally drop. Again, thanks Legion. But how on Azeroth do we get these legendaries? And once we have them, how in Azeroth do we craft them? That is what we're going to tackle. So inside Torghast, off to the side before you reach the main chamber, is the Ruin Carver. You know, that poor guy who we swore we'd help out as the heroes we are, and well, we kind of freed one arm. Funnily enough, just enough so he'd be able to craft legendaries, but not enough that he can actually go anywhere. Ooh, that's dark. We're not really heroes anymore. Upon completing the required quests, you will be able to interact with the Ruin Carver and open the legendary crafting window. This shows you all the required items that are needed to make our legendary. First up, as you can see dead center, is the base armor piece. Now, this can really be any piece of gear you've got, apart from trinkets. The second is the power we want to assign to that piece of armor. Now be aware that this will be limited based on the armor piece you put in the middle, as not all legendaries can go on all armor pieces. Last of all will be the two missives. Simply put, missives are used to give the armor secondary stats, like haste, mastery, etc. Last but very much not least is the large lump of soul ash that is going to be required to pay for all of this. Now there are currently four levels of legendary that can be crafted. We start at item level 190, going all the way up to rank 4, which is 235. You can craft your legendary at any level in between 1 or 4. If you want it straight away, craft a level 1. If you want to wait up, then go and get your rank 4. Plus, you may upgrade an existing legendary should it be below level 4. Now, all of this may sound a little confusing if you're new to the game or just returning. So let's start off with some basics. What legendary recipes do I have and how on Azeroth do I get more? For this, our adventurer's guide is our friend. Now, once you are able to access Shadowlands content, you will see a new tab appear here powers. This is all the powers available to your class and spec. You can change this via two options at the top. You'll see they allow you to change a spec or to even change class entirely if you want to see what an alt may get. Apart from the information regarding the legendary itself, another two very important pieces of information are located here. First is the location of the legendary drop. How do we get this? Maybe from dungeons, raids, maybe from Mythic Plus, it may be from Torghast. All that information is going to be located here. The second is what armor piece that, that legendary recipe can be equipped to. As you can see here, a lot of these recipes will have two items that can be attached to. It might be feet, cloak, gloves, helm, whatever it may be. So it's worth checking. What's my desired legendary? What one do I want to go and get? And what piece of armor do I want to assign that to? Because as much as you may want a level 4, I am level 235 neck. If the legendary recipe doesn't fit, then you're kind of just left with a neck that you can't do anything with. Great. Side note, if that does happen to you and you buy the wrong one, don't worry. You can either save it to use again on a different legendary. You can send it to one of your alts that may need it. Or just re-put it back in the auction house and try and recoup some money. You will not, trust me, going to be the first person this has happened to. You most definitely will not be the last. Okay, so you know what legendary you want. You've gone and collected it. Time to get the armor piece you need. With Shadowlands, professions are no longer a pointless waste of time. Thanks for that, BFA. Blacksmithing, leatherworking, tailoring, and jewelry crafting all create base items for legendary. Each one of these, as we talked about before, has four levels. As a crafter, you will start out only be able to make rank one. Once you have done that 15 times, rank two will unlock, and so on until you have all the way up to rank four of the base items. Now fear not, if you are sat there thinking, ah, oh, damn it, I'm a skinner in enchanter or whatever it may be, ah, oh, it sucks. 
The crafting brushes will require your wares, so you can still make some money off of it. Everyone can prosper. Yes, even you, little inscription person. Yeah, you've been left out in the cold for a while, but this is where your missives come from. And we shall need these for our legendary. It is where the secondary stats come from. Misses of haste, misses of mastery, misses of crit strike, and the misses of versatility. So, you can either craft these yourself, producing the base item and the missive, or you can purchase these from the auction house. Side note here, if you are interested in what is the best secondary for you, you can jump over onto Icy Veins, Wowhead, whatever they've got guides for all the classes and your stat priorities, or, which is something I definitely recommend just getting used to in general, is go and have a look on a site like Raidbots and see what your stat weights are, priorities for you and your current gear, and just what's going to work out best. So, we have our legendary recipe. We have our base item armor piece. We have our missives. Only one thing remains, soul ash. Now this is the currency used to pay for our legendary. Why does the ruined carver need it? Why does he demand it? We don't know, as he can't go anywhere, but that's what the man wants, that's what he gets. The only reliable way to gain soul ash is by completing the two weekly wings that are available in Torghast. Now we'll say fair play to Blizzard here. Each layer of a wing grants less soul ash than the previous one. So if you're struggling on an alt or you're just new to the game and this is all a bit overwhelming, try to look at completing at least the first three floors. These are considered normal difficulty, layer 4 to 6 is heroic and 7 and 8 are considered mythic. An example of these diminishing returns per layer can be seen if we look at say layer 1 versus layer 8. So layer 1 gives us 120 soul ash, nice and easy to complete. Layer 8, on its own, only gives us 40. So you may ask, what is the benefit of me pushing myself and trying for that higher layer? Well, if you complete a higher layer, you gain all the soul ash from the previous floors. So if you can get your 8 done, then that's all you need to do. Just one layer, sorted. Uh, you might be wondering, what does that amount to? Well, each wing of Torghast grants us a maximum of 570 soul ash meaning weekly we're looking at around 1140 ash per week. But is that a little? Is that a lot? Well, it all depends on the price of our legendaries. So let's dive into that. A rank 1, which is an I level 190, is going to require 1250 soul ash. Rank 2, which is an I level 210, is going to require 2000. Rank 3, I level 225 is going to require 3200. Rank 4, I level 235 requires 5,150. So as you can see, rank 1, rank 2, you can get basically in no time at all. You basically get a quest that is, there you go, there's your rank 1. It will set all this up for you. But rank 4 is going to take you a little bit of time to farm. So, deep breaths. We have everything we now require. It's time to head to the Ruin Carver in Torghast and put it all together. First up, we place the R into the middle slot. And this is why finding out what legendary goes on what base item, what piece of armor, is important. As now, when we select the legendary power, our options are limited to only those that will fit upon the base item we've put in the middle. So we have our armor piece in place. Our legendary effect is confirmed. We now click on the missives, and we add the two that suit us best. At the bottom, you will see the soul ash cost for what we want to build. As long as we have met all these requirements, it's time to hit create and gain our legendary. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. You have done it. Video done. We can all go home. Sorry, it's 2021. No, but none of us have left at home. <laughs> Crazy Grim. Well, no, Grim, Grim, Grim. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, you said there are four ranks. We've just created the rank one. Do I really need to do all this again just to get my next rank? That's a lot of... Gold on the auction house and soul ash or crap, that's a lot of work, Grim. Worry not, my friends, worry not. I apologize. We're not finished yet. Now we're going to go over upgrading your legendary. So you've got your legendary, but now we want to make it more powerful. So you currently have maybe a rank one, maybe a two, maybe even a three. You want to upgrade it. A panic not, it is a simple enough process. Made confusing and murky and just yeah, in normal blizzard fashion, they put something into the game, and then don't really explain it to people. We're done, Blizz. When upgrading an already created legendary, you require two things. An upgraded base armor piece of the same type as the original, 
So if you had a helm rank 1, you would need a rank 2 helm, rank 3 helm, or rank 4 helm to upgrade it. Plus, you need the correct amount of soul ash. And this is really the bit that people get confused about. Because whenever you look up online, how much does a level 2 or a level 3 or whatever it may be item cost, the legendary item cost, you'll see the 2000, the 3200, whatever it may be. So people are like, I've got a collect, I've, I've got my level 1, I've got a collect, like another 2000, 3000, 5000 soul ash, it's ridiculous. So as I say, people with a rank 1 may often think they need 2000 soul ash to create their rank 2. This is not the case. We're going to need some maths here. I know Blizzard should have all of this in game, they don't. To work out how much soul ash you need, you just minus the rank you have from the rank that you want. So let's do some examples here. You have a rank 1. You want the big boy rank 4. The rank 4 is going to cost you, as we said before, 5,150. So all we do is we minus the cost our rank 1, which was 1,250, from the cost of the rank 4. And that gives us a grand total of 3,900 soul ash difference. That is the amount that would be required to upgrade from our rank 1 to our rank 4. Let's have another one. You have a rank 2. You want to upgrade it to a rank 3. Rank 3 costs 3,200 soul ash. Your rank 2 costs you already 2,000 soul ash. So, yeah, you may have already guessed it. It is going to cost you simply 1,200 soul ash to upgrade your rank 2 to a rank 3. It's not that crazy. Blizzard would only explain it. Now, the only place you will ever know this is if you have purchased your upgrade piece of armor, you've gone to the Rune Carver, and you've gone to try and upgrade. Then you would see how much Solash is required. It is an awful oversight by Blizzard, and really confusing for a lot of players, because they're not going to want to purchase things, or they're going to want to know they've got everything sorted before they even go to upgrade. But, yeah, that's Blizzard for you. They create something that's actually really good. I love the current legendary system. But then they make a complete mess of it and confusing and rely on wow heads and icy veins and MMO champion and YouTube videos to pick up the slack. Cheers, Blizz. And that's it. Sorry for my little rant there. <laughs> that's all you need. You need the upgrade to the base item and the soul ash. You head back to the carver, select the current legendary you wish to upgrade. Then you select the upgraded armor piece. At the bottom, it will show you what the upgrade cost is going to be. Once you're done, select create. And there you go, you have your upgraded legendary. I hope this helps, ladies and gents. Uh, I wanted to make this, I know we're a decent bit into the expansion now, but I wanted to make this because I've had still a lot of guildies going, how, what do I, how much is it going to cost me? What am I doing? I don't, where am I getting stuff? How do I see these powers? What's going on? So I just thought, let's do a video on this because I, myself and others are not the only ones that have been confused about this. But I think that's enough for me rambling on, ladies and gents. This video is big enough as it is. Huge thank you to everybody that's watched. Have a great day. Stay safe in this crazy world. And I will catch you all tomorrow. Have a good one, everybody. Laters.